Good morning, everybody. I was all excited. Um, we got our new storage boxes for our ingots, and I was about ready to start making our solar panels when I realized something. They made the junction boxes technology, and we can't run our electricity without the junction boxes, and we don't have that yet. <laughs> So, we need to run to another town. <laughs> oh, when it rains, it pours. So, what we're going to do is we are going to run to another town. But before then, we're going to take some food with us. Because the next town we're going to run to is going to be way up here. This is going to be our fifth town. That's our fifth town, and it is now 6 a, almost 7 a.m. The cart is all set up, and huh, let's see how our weapon, our weapon's good. I don't know how many arrows we have, but we haven't really been using them. Because we need to get that oil extractor going so we can start making Kevlar. So we can get our body armor and get all set. But these things are wonderful. Look at the stacks we got going. And, oh, oh, we need to get that oil extractor going. Where's my cart? Wasn't it over here? Oh, there's the cart. All right, which way we want to go? We're going to be heading north. Whoops. Yeah, we got that one extractor up here. We need to pull out of there soon. There is a... Actually, we just go straight north. There's a town here. Doesn't matter. That might be our closest. Yeah, we'll do that. Uh, which way we're going? Zoom in. We'll run that way, hit that road, and go straight north. Oh, we're going to have to go this way to do it. Uh, think happy thoughts, no bears, no bears. Oh, this is not going to be a good morning. That's the town we were actually running for originally. Are we going the right way? No. I heard some stomping feet. Hoping that was a raccoon or something. Raccoon or a deer. No bears, no bears. We don't need no stinking bears. Wow, we're bugging along pretty good. Want to get to that town, get our tech, get the heck out of there. Yes, chicken. I'll kill you later. Well, they got a lot of barren areas, areas in here. Good for stone. Where the heck is that road? <laughs> By the time we hit the road, we're going to be at the crossroads. Yep, 
We're heading straight for the crossroads. Okay. Beautiful. All right. Let's let go of the cart real quick. Take a drink of water. We have some food on us. We got some watermelon. Eat the watermelon because that'll give us some vitamins. Is that another one full? Yeah, good. And we did not bring a stone crate with us, which is fine in case we kill an animal, a bear, or anything like that. We can just load them up in the cart if by chance we do kill a bear. Bear, a deer. And that one copper mine that we have, I think we just passed it, didn't we? Yeah. We'll stop and check that one out. If it's got any copper in it, we'll grab the copper if we have room. Oh, yeah. Run out of energy. Don't do that, Gmo. By the way, if you guys are wondering, Gmo is not my last name. It was a name of a book I started writing years ago, long before the internet was available for everybody. And it kept getting sent back. They wanted me to do changes. They liked the book. And it was a science fiction, space science fiction. And I just got tired of every change they wanted me to do. And since I was classified a nobody, they put me on the bottom of the list. After about two years of waiting and they send it back to me, waiting and they sent it back to me and wanting to do these little changes and I just gave up on it. It was 390 some odd pages long. Everybody, all my friends that read it thought it was an awesome book, but I just gave up on it. Now I know I can publish it myself. There's ways of doing it, but I just never bother. I just don't have the patience anymore. Nobody reads anymore. You can go to the movie theater. Two hours, you're in and out. Oh, we are here. Yes, indeed. Let's find some goodies. Well, let's get some Stam first. All right. Actually, first, let's do this. Where are we at? Right there. We're zoomed in. This is a big town. Big town, good tech. We want that junction box. Can't remember what. Oh, junction box and wind generators. Wind generators would be better than junction box. Where'd that house go? It's like, would we glitch? I swear there was a house right there. Almost like we jumped backwards. All right, there's one right here. Okay, good safety feature. Close the door behind you. Okay. We are going to dump all unnecessary stuff because I want to stop at that copper mine and see what kind of copper we got. Like these splints, easy to make. Glass, extremely easy to make. Look at this. We're stuck. You got to jump over that. That is just funky. We want to go through here really quick. There's our one tech right there. Oil can we'll definitely take. Bandages. I eh, really don't need bandages. What was that? Hiccups. That's what that was. That was hiccups. We know where everything is in these places. I know I'm really not looking at anything. I'm just grabbing it. What's this tech? 
Wind turbine. Oh, we got a wind. Oh, no, we still need that junction box. We want that junction box. Without that junction box, none of this is any good. Because we can't, uh, we might have the wind turbines to create power, but uh, we need this. Anything in here? No. Do we want to open? I'm not even going to open. Yes, I am going to open the doors. Huh? What the heck? And we're out this door. Which way we come from? Okay. I'm just running. As soon as we find both techs, we're out of here. I really don't. I'm not even too concerned with what we find. I just want both techs. That wind generator is great. Man, now I wish we would have came to this town when we were running up here and almost died from the cold. Because that is, to me, that's a win-win find. Oh, this is a loft one, yeah. There's not much in this one. Something right there. Nothing there. That's the door we came in. So we open that one, open that one, let's get up here, unload, I take this only because that's a good thing to have, get rid of the bones, bark chips, yes, you know, I would be dropping it if I wanted to keep it, uh, I should have dumped that too. Feathers. I don't remember picking them up. I must have had them in my inventory. And I'm keeping those. Oh, I just saw something on my right hand side. Oh, it was in the sky. Doggone it. I thought we came from this way. Yeah, um, new subscriber, he uh, watched me play, and he went out and he bought the game. It's not that, not that expensive on stream, and it's actually a pretty fun game. It can get frustrating at times, because yes, you will die in this game, which, uh, watching me, yes, you see it. <laughs> But like I said, it's a it's a fun game. I mean, if you've played games like Seven Days to Die or uh, there's other various games out there similar, um, you do die in these games. I mean, if you don't, then uh, heck, you're doing something that I'm not doing. You're not taking risks. I've uh, been in that room. Play in this room. Yeah, I guess we did all this. But, uh, I mean, if if you you like this game, I mean, it's under 20 bucks. It's definitely well worth the money. It does get frustrating a lot of times, especially since they have done a lot of changes to it. I don't know if you call the changes good. Or if you call them bad, where you at, buddy? Oh. Ah. Just like that. That that was sort of a cheat. He was stuck there. He couldn't get me. So, I mean, that was sort of a cheaty kill. Is that a stone or a bone? That's stone. Ah. Throw that away. I'm not using no. No. Cancel that. We'll just put that in there. Um. I got a whole case full of this. But it. All in all, I would say, for what this game is, it is a really good game. But I will say this. Once you find all the technologies, you do get to a point where it's like, okay, what do I do next? And... 
it makes you start wondering where are they going to go with the game. I did stop playing it for a while because it was I had all the technology and I didn't know what else to do except for build. And you still get attacked by the uh, Vambies. And it progressively does get stronger. More Vambies will attack you. And I mean more and more and more. Each each Vambi attack is... They send more, more of them after you. Okay, where am I going? Um, like if you've noticed... Because I put... All right, check the map. I post the attacks. There's one way back there. I post all the attacks on YouTube, uh, except for the one I missed, which I'm I really do apologize for, because I was farting around on my base, and next thing I noticed, weird music came up. Oh, I did get that one, and turned out it was I was being attacked. But, uh, uh, way over there. Sorry, I'm also trying to concentrate here. I want to get all these towns. I want our other tech. Um, but each time, more of these guys come. Hey, buddy. Woo wee. You need a throat lozenge. How about this instead? Um, up to, I think, 50 of these guys. I think that's what it's, it claims. Now, I cannot imagine 50 of them. I got to the point where I ended up turning them off because it got to the point where I couldn't be beaten. I upgraded my fences all to steel, and I ended up putting uh, two layers of fencing. And uh, two or three layers of spikes. So by the time they got through the spikes, they just couldn't get to me. So it just got numb for me to play. Because I just could, couldn't be beat. And once you clear out all the towns and you get all the, um, all the, all your tech. You really don't need to go to the towns no more. But the developers are still working on this. I mean, they call it uh, early access. I call it beta because they're still working on it. Oh, more fish oil. So, I mean, they did add quite a bit to it. So... I'm hoping they continue adding to it. That's one of the reasons why I'm back in the game. Because they added more to it. I mean, they never had that truck in it. And that truck, to me, is a massive game changer. Where's the door I came in? Because with that truck, that truck holds so much. It's unbelievable. Where you at, buddy? I want to give you a headache. I think you were over here, weren't you? You going to come upstairs? Oh, you fall down. Because um, I discovered you can put 12 crates in the back of that truck. And putting 12 crates in that truck, oh my God, you could just go from one mine to the next and unload all your mines get all the metal you want and you're set for a long time with all your stuff. Yeah, I think I'm going to have to do some restocking here of stuff or moving around with stuff here. Okay. Alright, did we do this one? If we did did this one? Nope. 
good mechanical we need. So, I mean, it's it's still in development. So, I and for the price, I mean, if you've been watching my series and my series, I mean, <laughs> I'm shocked that anybody's watching me. I mean, I didn't think I was anybody. But, uh, hey, I'm happy people are watching me. <laughs> Especially with uh, so many people out there, I try to try to be entertaining, try to be funny. I do my best, or try to, and I try to uh, help out in any way I can. Try not to be vulgar. Even though sometimes this game cheats. Especially those bears. <laughs> uh, which way we came in this way. You know, I think you know, I do think those bears do cheat. There's no way that they can fit in here. All right, we are going to run directly across the street and try and get those up. Wait a minute, we are across the street, didn't we? No, we didn't start over there. All right, we're going to run that way, go across the street. Because you're done. Yeah, you're done. You're done. Yeah, you're done. Are you done? Yeah, you're done. Where are you at? You done? Hey, hey, you you stopped me from swinging, buddy. That was unfair. Oh man, we missed something somewhere because we only got one tech. You done? Up there. I heard him. It was a bear. Oh, damn raccoon. Scared the crap out of me. I got another zebra stripe again. <laughs> oh. oh, man. God, I hate those bears. And it's about the time for the bear to show up. Alright, the last tech should be around here somewhere. Here, techy, 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 tech. Yeah, I hear a chicken. I feel like chicken tonight. Oh, yeah. Bear's gotta be around here somewhere. I got a medical kit. Not that he's gonna give me a chance to get it. I could just see me telling that bear, hey, can you wait a minute? Let me put this medical kit on before you kill me. <laughs> okay. Um, uh, where did we come in at? we come in over here? Yeah, we did. Uh, I just opened this door. Uh, actually, wait a minute. Um, which way do we got to go? That way. I think we've been that way. Nope, we haven't. And there it is. Okay. All right, I'm not going to do the anticipation. What is it? Lamp tech. Damn. Oh, have a drink of water, Ken. You'll feel better. No, not really. Actually, have that instead. We got any baked potatoes? No. Well, that's no good. 
well, we are getting all kinds of good tech, but we're not getting what we want. So that means we still have to hit up another town. Why did why did devs decided to do that? I don't know. But I'm definitely going to make a complaint about that. Come on, find that and pick it up. Because without that junction box, we cannot... I mean, I mean, we can build the stuff. I mean, I wish I had the... Uh, is there something else there? No. Wish we had the batteries. If we had the batteries, at least we could start storing power. Not that storing the power would do us any good. We were in the kitchen already. Yeah, squirrel, I hear you. Or squirrel, um, raccoon. If I had a chance, I'd come out there and kill you. I know that's what you want. Um, But yeah, so... I mean, it's sort of futile to... Uh, do anything i don't think i don't know if i want to build the solar power the solar panels now since we do have the wind generators they do generate less power well when we get back to base i'll show you because we're now looking at three o'clock man <sighs> that's frustrating all right. Wrong. Oh, there you are. I could take you with me. Would you like to go on a ride? Oh, that's sort of, sort of jukey. Can I close this door? I hate how slow you walk, but I can understand that. Because I don't have the stone uh, crate in the cart. We can take a raccoon back with us. I also sent in a complaint to, uh, or not a complaint, but a thing to them about the animals getting stuck in the porch. Alright, which way is it? We want the road. We're heading back. Unless one of these aren't done yet. Nope, that was done. Alright, let's make sure we're going the right way. Yeah. Oh, let's head home. On the road again. Just can't wait to get on the ro road again. Get away from the Vambies. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Thank you for... Oh! Thank you for the aluminum. Well, I've stopped by the copper mine. That one we put way up here that... We were hoping was aluminum. Yeah, maybe we'll get some copper out of it. That wasn't too bad. We didn't come close to death. Oh man, I need to knock on wood on that. I shouldn't have said that. Probably gonna run into a bear. Uh, where are we at? Let's move the map. Okay. I'm almost tempted to destroy that one. We'll only get half the materials back. But I don't know if I'm going to ever run all the way up here and get that. Uh, all of our vitamins and everything are getting low. I'll fix that when we get down there. Because we're losing our stam. Okay. Okay. 
Yeah, maybe. Oh. Oh, you know what? Let's go ahead and fix that right now. We'll fix that with a veggie. I'll take this veggie. Uh, yeah, baby. That fixes us up real nice. Now we can. Another raccoon. Gotta watch it. We got a dead body in here. That might attract a bear. Oh, that'll attract me right there. That's good stuff, Maynard. No, that's not the one. This is. Yeah, this is pretty empty. We'll put that in there, that, that, get rid of that. Stuff we don't want, we're going to get rid of right now. Uh, get rid of this. Uh, you know what? I could have put that in the other crate. You know, I didn't even think about it. We got a lot of biotoxin. We could put biotoxin in that copper one, because we can always use copper. The one we're going up to. Oh, we got to make a left up here. Oh, and I'm thirsty again. I'm either thirsty, I'm hungry. There's always something with this guy. There it is. Can't miss it. Oh, I even made a campfire over here? I don't remember doing that. I guess I did. Don't remember making a box here. Did I put anything in here? Nope, just a box. Okay. Oh man, I put that sucker far back. Yeah, I don't have the scorpion. I really don't have the room to uh destroy this thing. Uh, we'll just take the cap. We don't really need the copper. I'm not taking all only because I don't think we can carry all that stone. You know what? I can ditch the stone. Yeah, because we're at 76. So, just throw some stone away. Now we can move. Oh, yeah, thirsty. Yeah, I'll get you a drink, buddy. There you go. All better. We'll eat this, because that'll spoil. I probably should have let that spoil. Only because more biotoxin. That's why I think I'm going to start planting uh, the pumpkins. Because that will create a lot more biotoxin for us. Okay, let's see. Aha! We are going the wrong way. I knew it. Okay. Don't want to do it, but we're going to do it. Okay, we're almost at the road. Now, oh, on the road again. All right. Yeah, we might do the wind turbines instead. That is just a bummer. Uh, before winter, we're going to have to hit another town. We'll do that in the next episode. Wow, did you see that bird? He just fell out of the sky. They're just crazy birds.
Yeah, and I looked up those uh, pumpkin pie things, or whatever it was, pumpkin cheesecake, something like that, whatever it was. Oh, I thought I seen something moving up there, something big. Okay, there's a deer right here. And I was going to say, I thought it was a bear. Go back on the map. We're going to go cross country now. Our base is right there. All right, straight through, and we should go right to the base. Hopefully, without going through that town. Okay, good. That stomping, I'm hoping, was, a, was that deer. I don't want to curse myself, but I really have not seen bears at our base in a while. Oh, oh thank God. No broken legs, no broken legs. Oh, uh, and I'll put it over here. Oh, well. Oh, uh, don't want that inside the building. Okay. That is a bit of a bummer. Uh, put that right there. I'm not bringing the whole thing in. No need to. Oh, yeah, actually. Well, just leave that raccoon there for now. Oh, no, actually, you know what? This was the other thing I discovered with the last raccoon I, I got. Uh, grab him. You can throw them on the table. And they'll stay for quite some time. There you go. You just take yourself a nap. Well, anyways. I set these up over here. And I've got them sort of tight in. Now, the wind generators, they'll go even tighter. So, let's see. What's the difference on them? Power. Now, the wind generators take, oh, it takes a lot more aluminum. Oh, and it takes lead. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, there's a big difference. There's a pretty good difference. Because the uh, solar panels takes 4 cobalt, 5 aluminum, 4 copper, and 5 iron. Where these are taking 4 iron, 10 aluminum, 5 lead and four cobalt but these like i said these will run 24 7 so we'll always have power but this is what i wanted we didn't get that that would have been a good find and that would have been a good find so this is all of our tech we got so far so we did get the solar panels we got the uh um we got the loom, we got the lamp, which I don't think to this day I've ever used a lamp. I attempted to one time, put it up. It only uses 10, 10 electricity, but it wasn't really that good. I pop them in outside every so often, but it doesn't really light up as good as I want. We did get the oil extractor, which... If we can ever use it. We got the uh, chem table, advanced workbench, wind turbine, circular saw bench, the water house, which, oh man, I can't wait for that. We, we got to get that working before winter. The oil pump, which, oh, we get the oil pump. All of our oil extractors are going to be wonderful. And then what is power technology? power technology wait a minute 
I wonder if that is this. That's got to be this, the junction box. Because it didn't say junction box. That's got to be what the power technology is. Oh, which I don't think I showed anybody that. When I built the... This is our the saw bench that I really wish we would have had the first day. This is actually attached to the saw bench. You just pick the logs up, put them in there. Now that runs on oil. We, we do have oil that we found in the town. You just fill that up, and it fills up. These two are attached to it, too. It just fills them up, and it does all the sawing for you. And I put two things of two cans of oil in there, and it just keep running until it runs out of logs or these are filled. That's pretty cool. But when we do the extended build, because we're gonna have a wall over here, probably right where I'm standing, I'll have a wall, and then the spike walls will be outside of that. And it'll extend back to about here. Mm, probably about here, where these are at. And then there'll be spike walls over here. Why am I flashing? What's the temp? Oh, 56. Yeah, one of these days I'll be able to read that. Oh, I'm cold. Why am I cold? Oh, I'm... oh no. October. Well, anyways. And then I will make it all the way out to about here. The wall. And then spike walls outside of it. Actually, probably further on than that. Probably run those spike walls all the way down. Or the perimeter wall all the way down to about here to about here, and then curve it. Freestone. Oh, got to watch it. I didn't empty myself out. And then curve it back in over this way. Looks like we are coming into winter again. Thank God we got our winter gear in here, which means we got to go fishing again to fill these racks up. I got another rack here, and I think there's one on the roof, and there's another rack here. All right, all right. All right, well, I'm going to end this episode here. Next episode, we're going to have our winter gear on, and we are going to head over to oh, pan out. We're going to go to this town here. Then we only have one town left, which will be over here, because we do need that junction box. Whoops. Without that junction box, we can't get any power going. And we're probably going to do the wind generator. So off camera, I'm going to probably run back to the cobalt mine to see how much more cobalt we can get and go back to our aluminum mine and grab some more aluminum because we do have some more in here. Not much. And we're going to need all that aluminum. All right. I will see you guys on the next episode. And as always, have fun with whatever game you play. And I'll see you on the next one. Bye-bye for now.